Hi folks, Micah McGee here. In today's video, I'm gonna try to get out and I'm gonna try to plant some sugar beets. I got these from the Livingston Garden Center. They had them on clearance because they were, the seed was getting a little older. The test date was 222. So they've been around a little while. I'm not sure if they'll even grow, but we're gonna try it today. And it is, it's not huge, but it's a couple acres. But in the edge over here, I've got this little nook that's carved out into the brush. That's where I wanna plant the sugar beets. Out here, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go with corn or if I'm gonna go with another cover crop to try to enrich the soil for next year. I'm kind of tossing it up in my head. I may do both. You can do both. But this, came up so nice with crimson clover. I'm extremely excited to see how it goes. My main crop in here last year was turnips and we grew some nice, big, juicy turnips. But we had three below zero, it knocked them out. And I'm glad I had this clover planted in here because it just came right up through those old dead turnips that rotted basically. It's all fertilized, it's all good stuff. We did eat, you know, whatever turnips we could, but there was always some left. That's the way it is with farming. You always have some going back into the soil and it's good to give back. That's what all this cover crop is, 100% giving back to the soil. So I'm gonna get in here and plant this, this real quick and we're gonna get this planted and see how it goes. Okie dokie cokey. I don't know if you see what I see here. This field cannot be planted today. Oh, I could go through and spread the seed, but I don't think I'd have a very good result. I'm gonna let this sit. We're supposed to have frost basically the next two nights. Maybe not tonight so bad, maybe 39 degrees, but the next night for sure a frost. So that'll give it a chance to sit here it needs to dry out a little bit's what it needs to do and i need to come in and hit it again so the next scene you see i hope i'll be hitting it again all right folks it's been three days three days since we did this and in that three days it rained twice it started right immediately after i dished it the first time it rained just right away and the sun was shining brightly Oh, we had an awesome rainbow for just a little bit. It went away, but then it rained again. The very next, I can't remember the very next day or something like that. But then since that rain, it has frosted two mornings in a row. And on top of that, we're experiencing a small drought. I want you, and you don't have to believe that. If you live in Tennessee, you should believe it because it's so strange here how fast things can dry up especially if you break the ground open like we did here. 
I guarantee if you moved over just a little bit in this, that it's gonna be just as wet as it was the other day when I did that. So I'm gonna get in here real quick. They're calling for a week of rain, at least decent chances every day. So I need to get it done. It's dry, it's still somewhat loose. It hasn't developed that hard clod that won't break apart. I'm gonna hit it, I'm gonna hit it hard. I'm gonna get that seed in the ground today, if at all possible. Let's do it. got ourselves a seed bed i like this a lot better i'm starting to get a little warm to be honest with you and i'm fixing to carry that seed all over here spreading it that means the coat's got to go but i'm excited you can tell so much better pulverized dirt there's still clods but it don't matter because we're just broadcasting this it's going to come up at random the clods will get beat up by the rain and it's going to be fall probably before we even get in here if we get a crop and pull these up so i'm going to get out here i'm going to spread this and then i'm going to hit it with the disc on a lighter i don't want it to be digging all the way in i've got this right here just move it up to that hole then when i pull it'll barely sit in the ground and it'll barely move the soil when i go over it i don't want to plant my seeds that deep look at this seed it's a very interesting and unusual looking seed. Looks a bit like regular beets. If you didn't know it was a seed, you'd think it was just a piece of trash. Wow, interesting. I'm gonna pour this into my solo spreader. I'm amazed. This little bag nearly filled that up. But the thing about it is, they're large seeds. They ain't no little clover seeds. I'm gonna have to regulate it if I'm gonna plant this entire thing. It may not be enough to plant this entire plot. I really, really like this Solo seed spreader. It has got to where you can hardly find a good walking cyclone seeder. This in here has turned out to be good. So I recommend it. I'll try to put it in the descriptions with all my other stuff to where you can get it if you want it, if it's something you need. But for now, I'm gonna get out here and spread this seed. got it all planted I'm extremely happy about this because I had just the right amount of seed to go over it lightly both directions so I got great coverage that way that's exciting to me I love this dirt it looks great and when you put when you're when you're pouring this amount of biomass into that soil year after year 
it is incredible what you get and you dig up just at random anywhere you want you'll find worms you'll find good humus in the ground it's just way better than the typical chemical fertilized program way better so it's time for me to run over it right quick just i don't want to disc a lot i just want to shift the soil a little bit if it was fixing to be dry i would take a culti packer and pack it but this here i just need to get the soil seed contact really good a little covered up because it's going to rain and that'll take care of it All right, there you have it. The bed has been prepared. The seed has been sown. All we can do now, let the good Lord above take over because there ain't a thing that I can do now. You talk about farmers are, and I'm not a farmer, I'm a homesteader, but farmers require the most faith of anybody you've ever seen to take your good hard earned dollars and throw it down in the dirt and expect that there's not gonna be flooding there's not going to be drought. A lot of things can happen to make your seed not grow. And even while I say this, I look at a beautiful crop that proves time after time after time, God did his part. So the thing for me to do is do my part. That's all I can do. I can't do his part. So if you can get a hold of that, you can relax. You can rest knowing that this is out of my hands at this point all i gotta do is go to the house which is what i'm gonna do right now so i hope you have a great day hope that you enjoyed this if it comes up i'll show you i would love to show you some monster sugar beets that i'm able to just harvest and feed my pigs boy would i be a happy pappy gonna get out of here y'all have a great day we'll see you on the next video